As schoolyard cliques go, the triumvirate of premium German small sedans has always been nastily effective. Sure, the gang's leadership sometimes swaps around, favoring whichever one has the latest engineering or marketing trick, but what they do even more effectively than beating each other is blocking out the new kids. Lexus and Infiniti came over all friendly and were derisively turned away. The Jaguars and the Alfa Romeo Giulia have been treated with disdain, too, even if they arrived with Styland, for now, EU passports. It's mostly because, as they've always done, the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4, and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class compete so ferociously with each other that they barely notice anybody else. But they'll notice the Genesis G70. They will notice because the G70 is so comprehensively good that anybody who skipped beyond the badge could easily think it came from within the German clique. Specifically, it feels like a combination of the best parts of the one from Munich and the one from Stuttgart. It could pass for an M car from the rear three-quarter view, but with a lower, wider, more ready-to-pounce stance, though the front end is less resolved. And from the driver's seat, its balance, poise and assurance do what a 3 Series does, only sometimes better and more cheerfully, with cleaner lines of communication. It's not just good, though. It's critically good. And it's not just that the G70 is Genesis aiming right into the heartland of the German automaker's cash flow, but that the G70 is really the first purebred Genesis, following the more Hyundai-based G80 and G90 luxury cars.